Okay, so I thought I'd do a video on the modifications that I'm doing to Teddy Ruxpin's um, original controls. Pretty much ripping them out because I can't use them. Including the original uh, servo motors. But I am gutting them out and rebuilding them with a modern day servo in them. I'm using the MG90s-S. I've used these on other projects, RC projects and things, and they're pretty good. Not top dollar, but they're pretty good. So, replacing all three servo motors, because this particular model has one for the eyes, nose, mouth, uh, later model te Teddy Ruxpins used two servos that only used one servo. Uh, so, it's coming along quite nicely. And I'm going to be posting some more videos on my um, YouTube page of this project. Uh, just a second here. This is the other half of the project. So with my Gillies Arcade that I run, I have you know arcade games in there, and I've been wanting to add entertainment games, amusement games, and I decided I'm doing my own version of a fortune telling machine. And built this cabinet about a week ago. Got the lights installed, coin unit, button, brass nameplate. LED strips, uh, this stuff, pretty nice. Um, this particular kind has a yellow tinge to it, which is a lot more pleasant on the eyes, I think. And then 3D printed um, transparent lens units to diffuse the light, make it even more pleasant. And this is part of the prototype electronics rig for operating it. A um, friend of mine is designing the Arduino code to operate Teddy, and I'm using, so, Arduino Uno, doesn't have to be a Uno, uh, I'm using a Adafruit um, soundboard, uh, MOSFET driver board, Let's see, I have to have a couple voltage regulators, speaker, um, well, speaker and then the uh, power unit for it. Still got to decide where I'm installing the speaker on this thing because I forgot to plan that ahead of time. Oh, and then glass panels. Um, just recently learned how to do gold leaf or gilding, if it's how you know it. So, gilded uh, gold trim around the outside around the red letters. Uh, the white here is just spray painted. The red letters are also spray painted, all airbrush. Well, the letters, no, I take that back. Um, rattle can. So, and then there's a difference between the sides and the front because the front here, the panel is just a little taller. So, turned out nice. And then I got one of my usual brass nameplates. I still need to go and stamp some of the information on here. So, uh, plan is to have this ready for an event that's at the end of the month called Nuclear Winter. Because for any of you that are newer, newer watchers of Gilly's Arcade. Uh, Gilly's Arcade is a traveling arcade that goes to a couple different events. Uh, first one at the beginning of the year is Nuclear Winter. The second one, which is in April, is Neotropolis. And then the third one of the year, at least that's the current schedule this year, is Wasteland Weekend. And Gilly's Arcade 
for Nuclear Winter and Wasteland Weekend is a post-apocalyptic arcade, but it's actually the last arcade of the old world. Kind of a holdout. And then Neil Tropolis is a sci-fi futuristic event. So once again, it's, um, it's actually Gilly's Arcade dot 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 in space. And it's the last arcade of the old world. So eventually I want to expand and take the arcade to other places. But slow steps. Yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. There'll be more videos on other projects coming. And if any of you are going, why is this guy's garage such a cluttered mess? It's because I need a bigger workshop.